This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Flutter on your macOS. Flutter is an open source, free UI toolkit for building versatile apps. It's compatible with Windows, macOS, Linux, and even Chrome OS. In today's video, our focus will be on installing Flutter on macOS. We'll be covering everything from reviewing the system requirements, downloading the right Flutter SDK, updating the path variable, installing Xcode, setting up Android Studio, and running our first app. If you're looking to install Flutter on Windows, you can check this video. The link is in the description below. To start with the installation, head to flutter.dev, the official Flutter website. Once you're here, click on the Get Started button. This will bring you to the install page. As mentioned earlier, there are many options, but since in this video we will focus on macOS, we will click this button. There are not many requirements to install Flutter on Mac. Just make sure that your machine is running a version of macOS later than 10.14 Mojave and that you have a minimum disk space of 2.8 GB. Note that this does not include disk space that you will need for Xcode, Android Studio and other tools. If you already have Xcode installed, you probably have Git also. If not, don't worry, we will install Xcode and Git later. Since in this video I will be installing Flutter on an Apple Silicon Mac Mini, we must execute this command to install the Rosetta translation environment. To determine whether your Mac uses an Apple Silicon processor, go to the Apple menu at the top left corner, then click about this Mac. Mac computers with Apple Silicon will show an item labeled chip, followed by the name of the chip like M1 or M2. On Mac computers with an Intel processor, about this Mac shows an item labeled processor, followed by the name of an Intel processor. If you have an Intel based Mac, you may skip this step or watch this video that shows the installation process for an Intel based Mac. Now that we are sure that our system meets the minimum requirements, let's move to the next step, which is downloading the Flutter SDK. For that, depending on the machine processor type, Intel or Apple Silicon, we will click on one of those big blue buttons. For those of you who don't know, SDK stands for Software Development Kit, and it's a group of tools, libraries, and documentation that are necessary to develop applications. Just like we have the Android SDK or macOS SDK, we have Flutter SDK, which allows us to make mobile, web, and desktop applications from a single code base. While downloading, let's go to the user's home folder and create a new one. We will call it Development. Normally, macOS will automatically extract the zip file for you. If not, you just need to double click on the zip file to extract it. Now, let's move the extracted folder to the one we just created. Now that we have the Flutter SDK downloaded and extracted, the next thing to do is to add the Flutter slash bin folder to the path variable. We need to do that because we don't want to write out the entire Flutter slash bin path in the terminal every time we want to run a Flutter command. For that, we could use this command. But as mentioned here, this command sets the path variable for the current terminal window only. So, to permanently add Flutter to the path variable, you will need to create a .rc file in the current user home folder if you don't already have it. And as explained here, the name of this file will depend on the shell you are using. To know which shell you are using, just open the terminal, look at the top, or run a cost shell. In my case, I'm using a z shell. That means I have to create a dot zshrc file in my home folder. We can do that using the touch command. So now, if we go to the home folder and hit Ctrl Shift dot, we can see the file that we just created. Let's open it, copy this command and paste it. Here, we will replace this part with the path of the bin folder inside the Flutter SDK. Let's go to the bin folder, copy the path and paste it here. Now that we have updated the path variables, let's save and close this window. Then we will run this command to refresh the terminal or you can just close the terminal and reopen it. Now the Flutter SDK is installed and configured. Let's run Flutter Doctor to see what's missing to complete the installation. If it says resolve independencies, wait for it to complete. It might take some time. We can cancel that for now. We will install Git later. As you can see, we are missing the Android Studio, Xcode for iOS development, and if we want to develop for the web, we will need to install Chrome. Let's start with Xcode. 
to download and install the latest version of Xcode, we will click this link that will redirect us to the Mac App Store. If you have an older version of macOS, check this table on Wikipedia to see which Xcode version is compatible with it. Then, you can find an older version of Xcode here. The links will be in the description. Now, to launch the installation, let's click this icon here. Connect using your Apple ID if you haven't done so yet. Then, the download should start. Once downloaded, it will automatically install Xcode and Git in the process. Depending on your internet speed and computer system performance, this may take some time, so be patient. A few moments later. To complete the Xcode installation, we need to run those two commands. They will configure the Xcode command line tools, install additional components, and allow us to accept Xcode license agreements. Press return to view the license agreement, space to scroll down, then type agree to accept the licenses. We also need to install CocoaPods to allow us to use Flutter packages with native iOS codes. And additionally, since we are installing on an Apple Silicon Mac, we must also run this command. Now, if you try to run Flutter Doctor and you see that CocoaPods is still not installed, like it is the case here, that means we need to first run this command as suggested here. And then run the gem installed CocoaPods again. To confirm that everything is okay for Xcode, let's run Flutter Doctor again. As you can see, now Xcode is checked. Now let's continue with Android. As you can see, it is saying unable to locate Android SDK. The easiest way to install the Android SDK is to install Android Studio. For that, let's go back to the Flutter website and click this link. On this page, you will click on download Android Studio, read and accept the terms and conditions. Here, make sure you select the right option. Since I am using an Apple Silicon chip, I will click on this one. Depending on your internet speed, this may take some time. A few moments later. Now that the download is completed, let's start the installation. This is pretty straightforward. Just move the Android Studio app to the application folder, then launch Android Studio to finalize the installation. Click Open. After that, just click OK or Next to accept all the default options. Here is where we are actually installing the Android SDK. So click Next, accept the license agreement, then click Finish. Wait for the installation to complete, then click Finish. Once you see that screen, that means you have installed Android Studio and the Android SDK on your Mac. Don't close this for now, we will need it later. Now let's go back to the terminal and run Flutter Doctor again to verify what we are still missing. As you can see, Android Studio is checked, but the command line tools component is missing and the Android license status is unknown. For the command line tools component, we'll go back to the Android Studio welcome page, more actions, and select SDK manager. Here, make sure that Android SDK is selected on the left panel and go to the SDK tools tab. In this list, we need to select Android SDK command line tools, then click apply. Confirm the changes and wait for the installation to complete. We can close this window now. For the Android license status, we will copy this command and run it. If you accept, just type Y. Now all the SDK package licenses have been accepted. Let's run Flutter Doctor again. The only thing missing now is Google Chrome. If you want to develop for the web, you need to have Chrome installed. For that, go to the Chrome website and click Download Chrome. The download is completed. Now, let's install it. Again, just move the Google Chrome app to the application folder. Now, we have installed Google Chrome. Let's run Flutter Doctor one last time to verify that everything is checked. Great, no issues found. Everything is good to go. Now, go watch this video that shows you how to create your first Flutter app project and run it on an iOS simulator or an Android emulator on Mac. Since you made it so far, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future content.